So with, when we're approaching the EOQ model, we have certain assumptions. Uh, one of these assumptions is EOQ model determines optimal order size by minimizing total annual costs. Um, the following EOQ models will take away one assumption at a time. Uh, with the EOQ model, um, our objective is to minimize total annual costs, which are the sum of annual ordering costs and annual carrying or, ho or holding costs. Um, some of the variables we're going to be using coming up uh, are listed right here. The minimum total cost happens at the intersection of holding costs and ordering costs. Annual ordering cost is, is calculated using these variables. Uh, annual order cost is the number of orders per year multiplied by how much it costs to order. Uh, illustrated by this equation, which is order cost equals annual demand divided by order quantity or order size times ordering cost. Annual carrying costs are the average inventory level multiplied by the per unit cost to hold or carrying costs. This is indicated by holding costs equals Q or order quantity divided by 2. This, this is also referred to as average inventory multiplied by your holding costs. The point where a total cost is the lowest is the equilibrium point between holding costs and ordering costs. When solving for Q, uh, often you can look at use the proof holding cost equals ordering cost, which is indicated by these proofs right here. Um, this would indicate holding cost, and this would indi this side would indicate ordering costs. Um, the only part you really need to memorize, though, is this equation right here. Here in the board, we have an EOQ diagram. Q indicated here, and Q average indicated here. Q average you've also seen before is the equation Q divided by two, and we have down here on this axis T cycle. T cycle is your is your time in between orders.